Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 119. My soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, thou heardest me, teach me thy statutes. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness, strengthen thou me according to thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of thy word, thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. And right there, I believe the Holy Spirit gives us the key. Uh, each one of the titles of Scripture are mentioned in these eight verses. And the Bible says that it will enlarge our heart. I think of the children of Israel, uh, when they wanted their own way, God said, I'll, I'll grant you that request, but he said, I'll give you a leanness of soul. And boy, as a Christian, we should never want what we want over what God wants. But how do we want what God wants? Well, that's pretty easy. We could get into his word. Uh, it's mentioned several times, his judgments, his commandments, his testimonies, um, the way of truth, uh, just over and over again, thy statutes, it, it mentions just about every name in Psalm 119 in these eight verses for the word of the Lord. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Now you'll hear us hit these uh, themes quite often, meditating, memorizing the Word of God, uh, praying, and sharing thy faith. And all three of those are covered in these eight verses. But it's covered after we uh, walk with God, after we get into the Word. Spend time in the Bible. Well, I don't understand it. I've heard people say that over the last 30 years. And, and two things I would say there. Number one, it's usually not what they don't understand they have a problem with. It's what they do understand and they're not obeying they have a problem with. And number two, uh, John 16 says, He, the Spirit of truth, will lead us into all truth. If I'm praying and walking with God the way I ought to, the Holy Spirit's going to reveal truth to me. Now, why is that important? Because we're the living embodiment of truth. What does the Bible say in John chapter 1? Jesus is the Word. He was the living Word of God. Now we have the eternal Word of God, and we have the example of the living Word, and so you and I are supposed to be an example of that to those around us. You're not going to rehear the Bible read on uh, national TV. You're not going to hear the Bible encouraged on CNN. You're not going to hear the Bible uh, unfortunately, even endorsed by this present administration. Now, I do pray for the president because the Bible says to, but I have never in my life seen a wickeder administration who shows an outward hatred to Christianity like this administration has. But Christian, we need to love our enemies. Pray for them that despitefully use you. And we need to decide as a Christian, am I going to obey the word of God? Yes, God's word is trustworthy. And yes, even the first century Christians, Paul didn't have good leadership. Nero was far from it. In fact, Nero had Paul's head chopped off. Uh, but he nevertheless clung to the word of God, obeyed, and when he was heading for that chopping block, what did he say? All oh, poor is me. No, that's not what Paul said. He said, I've fought a good fight. I've finished my course. I've kept the faith. Hey, Christian, let's stop looking at circumstances around us. And as Psalm 119 says here, let's keep the faith. Let's make sure we're encouraged today. Let's make sure we're edified through the Word of God. You're not going to get positive thinking from all these self-help books. You're going to get the most positive thinking when your faith is doing what it ought to be doing. A byproduct of that is good, clear, biblical thinking. 
And that's my goal for our church, good, clear, biblical living and good, clear, biblical thinking. God bless you and have a wonderful day.